All right, guys, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today Star Wars Legion Sneak Peek Week continues. This time we are unboxing the T-47 Airspeeder Unit Expansion. This is uh, obviously the Rebels' answer to the ATST. at least they hope so. Uh, this is one of the most iconic Star Wars spaceships there is, and it's really cool to get it in... Uh, miniature form so I was very excited to get it the only thing that would have made me happier was if they had um, an X-Wing expansion so here's hoping uh, I would love to see it in this scale so this box retails I believe for $30 US um, so it's a little bit less than the ATST so obviously it's a smaller um, but it is one airspeeder you also get a unit card, five upgrade cards, tokens, and obviously the rule sheet. I like on the back it does give you a scale comparison between a guy and the ship itself, which is cool. So let's uh, pop this open and take a look. So again, it has the tray just like the ATST. have the guidebook so it's got some pieces to it now the airspeeder was always cool in the movie it had like moving flaps and stuff so assembly is very basic unlike the ATST which was both sides of the page this only has one which is cool all right. Oh, there we go. This is why we're here, folks. Take a look at that. I had a little, when I was younger and Star Wars had come out, I had a little die-cast model of the Snowspeeder. Probably a little bit smaller than this. Anyone remember those? I had that toy forever. Oh boy, this thing is really nice. It's really detailed. Let's see into those ports. Laser cannon detail. No clear cockpit, but I'm kind of glad at this scale and for gaming purposes this is what I like. The underside is detailed as well, very nice. Very exciting. We have the base. The cards, we'll take a look at those. The flight stand the additional pieces and parts, laser cannons, those flaps, guns for the back. Looks like this has a couple of gun options, but we'll take a look at the carts to see that. So this guy, there's not too much assembly to him. He, he'll go together pretty quick, I think. Now let's take a look at these cards, see what we get. Sadly, I haven't played a game yet, so I can't give you an opinion or anything yet on the um, abilities of this in-game, or how good it is, or we want to stay away from it. So we've got the T-47 Airspeeder. Oh, it's 175 points, so that's comparable to the, uh, the ATST. Cheaper, but... Probably much more flimsy. And then we have cards. We have the MODK Power Harpoon, uh, AX188 Ground Buzzer, uh, Wedge Antilles. I love Wedge. He's awesome. Long range comlink and comms jammer. So that's 
that's pretty cool so it looks like these two you can choose which one you want as a rear these are both fixed rear you can go with the traditional tow cable or uh, this just looks like a blaster the ground buzzer which is pretty cool and then card wise nothing too new here very cool So no speeder assembled. Uh, this build was very easy. There wasn't too much uh, to building this model. Um, again, we, we added on the cannons on the front. We added these flaps. I chose to model the flaps open just to give it a little uh, detail area there. So we can imagine it's trying to slow itself down maybe on an attack run. Uh, so, you know, these two pieces glue on. You have this. Um, harpoon gun. This can be swapped out. I didn't glue it. It's got a peg uh, and probably the peg is going to be fine. I don't even think I'm going to need to bother magnetizing it. And then uh, the gluing these two bottom flaps which are a little bit less noticeable but um, but pretty cool. So you could glue these things closed if you don't want to mess with it. Um, but I thought it looked cool that way. And then it comes with a flight stand, uh, very similar to um, 40K's flight stands. It's got the cross pattern. you got the cross on the bottom. And it just slots in. Well, let's zoom out a little bit. How does this compare to uh, other models? Well, within game, here's Darth Vader give you an idea of other games we'll grab our 40k models this is uh, comparing it to a rhino and a space marine so we can see this guy is uh, is smaller than any kind of 40k flyer but the snow speeder was a pretty small ship when you get down to it and again this gets only uh, thirty dollars so it's not like a fifty dollar kit you're paying for um, the ATST and overall it looks it looks good so there you can kind of get an idea for size overall very pleased um, if there is any hints for for building um, just make sure that your gun barrels aren't warped before you glue them on do test fitting and you really have to push them down to get them all the way back uh, even without glue, they're probably not coming out again once you do that. But overall, really nice. I'm really looking forward to getting some paint on that. So, there you go. That is the assembled snow speeder. There you go, guys. A look at Star Wars Legion, the T-47 air speeder expansion. Uh, again, excited about this. I love this uh, ship and looking forward to getting it out on the battlefield. Um, even though I'm probably going to be playing Empire initially, I couldn't not get this because it's so cool. $30 US, not bad at all for what you get. Uh, again, I can't speak to how well it performs on the battlefield yet, whether it's worthwhile there, but from a Star Wars collectible standpoint, awesome. Uh, even if you don't play the game, you want a nice model of the snow speeder, you've got it. I like how they don't have it in its natural uh, environment here, which is snow. They have it flying through a canyon. That's pretty cool. I always thought they painted these white because they were flying in the snow. Maybe you could have alternate camo depending on where how your battlefield is set up. That would be cool. All right. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think down in the comments below. Have you got to play with this? If so, what do you think about it? Also, check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. You can keep up with what we are up to and what upcoming uh, reports and videos we will be releasing. We can also uh, chat there. You can always leave messages. As always, though, thanks for watching and keep on wargaming.